If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, then in iOS 14 or iPadOS 14, they introduce something called picture in picture. What this allows you to do is to watch a video, say from your TV app, Vimeo, Netflix, and watch it whilst you go to do something else. So it becomes a little picture in the screen and the video keeps playing. You can move that video around. So it means you can be watching a video and go and do something like email, look something up on Safari, or anything else that might, you might find useful, making notes and things like that. So it's a really useful innovation. And I actually did that on iOS 14. I did a video that shows you how you can do this with FaceTime. So you, rather than when you go to look something up, you can't see the person when you're FaceTiming, you can now do that as well. And there's another video, there's a link just here for you to go and see how to do that. So this works really well, it's very easy to use. It works slightly differently on Netflix and on Prime Video, and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. At the moment, it doesn't work on YouTube, but if it does, and I'll do an update, then there'll be a link just here where you can go and see how to do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to start off by going into the TV app, which I've just got over here. So let's just go into it. I'm in the home movies. I could be in my other part of the library just by tapping at the top there and going to things like movies and it works the same way there as well. I'm just gonna choose one. This is our cat and I'm just going to tap on play. And as you can see up at the top here, so I've got to tap again because it does go, it's got this little arrow with pointing down here to a little square. And if I tap on that, you'll see it now comes down at the bottom. I can now go off to do something else. And you can see I can move this around on the screen just by sliding it. Double tapping allows me to make it a little bit bigger and then it's taking up the width more or less of the phone and I can move up as well. Same sort of thing applies if you're using the iPad as well. So there you go. I can now, if I tap on it, I've got the option to close it with that cross just there. So I just got to tap on it again, all by tapping here on that button there, it takes it back to being full screen. So that works for a lot of the different apps that I've got, um, but the thing that works slightly differently is if you're using something like Netflix or Prime. So here I am in Netflix, I'm gonna choose this program, which is Somebody Feed Phil, does make us smile. What you'll see is it doesn't have that little icon, that little arrow with the square anywhere around the edges here. So how do I do it? Well, it's a little bit different. What I've got to do is, you see I've got my little bar down at the bottom here. If I slide up, which is kind of takes me to around here, I let go. Now, if it was coming up here with other apps, that's not where I want to be. I want to move it that little bit further and then let go. And then I can just move it like that. I can double tap to make it bigger like I did before and move it around. And as I could do earlier, I could move it back into Netflix. Okay, so here I am in Prime. I'm just gonna choose this one here, The Living Thames. It's made by someone I know, Dorothy, and did actually work on the movie as well. It's great, so I'm gonna choose Resume Movie. And there we go, there it is. And again, just like Netflix, it doesn't have anything around the side here to do the picture in picture. So what I've gotta do is slide up, but what I find is I've got to go all the way over as far as I can to the side here. And then when I let go, it appears. And then just like I did before, I can double tap, I can move it, I can double tap to make it smaller. And if, again, if I move it too far to the side, I've got this arrow here as well. So let's just double tap it, and then I can increase the size of it as well. So there you have it. As you can see, really easy to use. These are not the only apps. Just keep a lookout for that little icon in the corner and you'll know whether or not you can actually then have a little picture in picture with that as well. And there are some other useful apps as well. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay safe.